It's Saturday morning, welcome to morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all, to you be praise and glory for ever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bring in light and life to all creation. May we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm number 20. May the Lord hear you in the day of trouble. The name of the Lord God of Jacob defend you, send you help from his sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. Remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. Grant you your heart's desire and fulfil all your mind. May we rejoice in your salvation and triumph in the name of our God. May the Lord perform all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord will save his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the mighty strength of his right hand. Some put their trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will call only on the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. O Lord, save the King and answer us when we call upon you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The canticle is a song of Jerusalem. Thus says our God, I shall comfort you. You shall see and your heart shall rejoice. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad for her, all you who love her, says the Lord. Rejoice with her in joy, all you who mourn over her, that you may drink deeply with delight from her consoling breast. For thus says our God, you shall be nursed and carried on her arm. As a mother comforts her children, so I will comfort you. You shall see and your heart shall rejoice. You shall flourish like the grass of the fields. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Thus says our God, I will comfort you. You shall see and your heart shall rejoice. The reading today is from 1 Corinthians chapter 16, beginning at verse 10. If Timothy comes, see that he has nothing to fear among you, for he is doing the work of the Lord just as I am. Therefore let no one despise him. Send him on his way in peace, so that he may come to me, for I am expecting him with the brothers. Now concerning our brother Apollos, I strongly urged him to visit you with the other brothers, but he was not at all willing to come now. He will come when he has the opportunity. Keep alert. Stand firm in your faith. Be courageous, be strong. Let all that you do be done in love. Now, brothers and sisters, you know that members of the household of Stephanus were the first converts in Acacia, and they have devoted themselves to the service of the saints. I urge you to put yourselves at the service of such people and of everyone who works and toils with them. I rejoice at the coming of Stephanus and Fortunius and Acacius, because they have made up for your absence, for they refreshed my spirit as well as yours, so give recognition to such people. The churches of Asia send greetings. Aquilia and Priscilla, together with the church in their house, greet you warmly in the Lord. All the brothers and sisters send greetings. Greet one another with a holy kiss. I, Paul, write this greeting with my own hand. 
Let anyone be accursed who has no love for the Lord. Our Lord, come. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with you. My love be with all of you in Christ Jesus. Here ends the reading. Your salvation is near to those who fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. Your salvation is near to those who fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other, that glory may dwell in our land. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Your salvation is near to those who fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. The TDM. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as the Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. And so we pray. Father God, we pray for our homes and all the people that we live with. We pray for our families and our friends and we pray for those whom we are separated from. Lord, we pray today for those whose time is spent caring for others. We pray for those who are approaching the end of their lives. We pray for those who have lost hope And Lord, we pray that you would show us how we can reflect your glory into the world and especially with those whom we will meet today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, our creator, who in the beginning commanded the light to shine out of the darkness, we pray that the light of the glorious gospel of Christ may dispel the darkness of ignorance and unbelief. Shine into the hearts of all your people and reveal the knowledge of your glory in the face of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So may the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.